Hey guys, it's DJ Metal War God here, and I have a new video update on the collections number three. Yes, I've had two collection series make this number three, and today's focus will be on the great hard rock band of the 70s, late 60s, early 70s, and still today, and I'm talking about UFO. Fantastic hard rock band that came out of uh, England in uh, the late 60s and uh, progressed into where they're at now. Still have original members in the band. Not all original members still remain, but we're going to start out anyway with the vinyl stuff that I have on UFO. And first up is going to be, of course, UFO. Two with flying one hour of space rock. Definitely not your 70s UFO, what you're used to hearing, like Dr. Doctor, uh, Forset, uh, 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 all that stuff. But uh, this is more uh, more psychedelic in nature, and of course this came out in 1971 on the DECA label. And of course it has Pete Way on bass, Andy Parker on drums, Phil Mold on vocals, and Mark Bolton on lead guitar. So anyway, that starts out the UFO collection series with UFO 2 flying one hour space rock. Up next, granted I don't have all the vinyl from UFO early on. I did at one time, but uh, slowly gaining it back. And up next is UFO Phenomena from, let's see here, what year is this? Oh my god, now I'm, I'm going to lose a date. Anyway, I believe this is, um, uh, anyway, 1974, 73, anyway, the phenomena. Uh, 1974 on the Christmas label. And of course, uh, classic cover, of course, the UFO up there. And uh, of course, it has uh, Dr. Doctor, rock bottom. Of course, this has, of course, uh, Probably the most famous lineup we know of UFO, Phil Mogg, Andy Parker, P. Way, Michael Schenker on guitars, a young Michael Schenker. And uh, classic album here is Phenomena from UFO. Up next is UFO Obsession. And of course, uh, this one is from 1978, and it has Only You Can Rock Me. Uh, look out for number one, Cherry, uh, one more for the Rodeo, Born to Lose. Uh, anyway, Obsession. Of course, you gotta love the ball bearings and the eyes. Obsession for 1978. Up next is a classic live album from UFO, Strangers in the Night. Of course, this came out in 1979, and it has, uh, it's, a, it's a gay fold. Classic album. Of course, it has everything early on. Of course, it has a uh, natural thing, Out in the Streets, Mother Mary, Love to Love, Lights Out, Rock Bottom, Too Hot to Handle, Shoot Shoot, Let It Roll, all the classic stuff. So I got the other, Albums that I don't have vinyl on CD, which I will be showing. So anyway, here's Obsession or um, Strangers in the Night from UFO. May say one of the finest live albums ever. Up next, we're going to get into 19 and oh, I think we're going to get into what? Let's see, what is it? Uh, I know I can't. I can't find the date. 1980, sorry. 1980 with this, you have no place to run. Of course, this is uh, kind of a latter day uh, UFO. Of course, uh, Michael Schenker no longer in this. Has Paul Chapman on guitars, Andy Parker, drums, Paul Raymond, and of course, Phil Mogg and Pete Way, original members, and uh, classic album. 80s UFO. And then, of course, then we're getting into The Wild, The Willing, and The Innocent. Of course, this came out in 
1981 on Chrysalis Records. Of course, this has uh, their title track, Make the Moves. Not a lot of uh, current hits or hits that were from the 70s, but you know, it kind of progressed a little more. Uh, but uh, still, nonetheless, UFO at its best. Up next, we're talking about UFO and mechanics. From 1982, of course, still has uh, Phil Mogg, P. Way, Andy Parker, Paul Chapman. Of course, it has Neil Carter on keyboards instead of Paul Raymond. And uh, so, yeah, they, they went back to a 5P, well, they're 5P still, but uh, anyway, here's UFO Mechanics. And up next is UFO Making Contact. Of course, this is from 1983. Seems like in the 80s they came out with one a year. That's Diesel in the Dust, When It's Time to Rock. Uh, call my name. Of course, this is a four-piece now. Phil Mogg, Paul Chapman back in the band. Uh, Neil Carter and Andy Parker on drums. And uh, anyway, here is UFO with Making Contact. Up next, we got UFO with Misdemeanor. And this is from 1985, also on the Chrysalis label. And uh, still has Phil Mogg in there, uh, Paul Raymond, Jim Simpson on drums this time, Paul Gray on bass, and Atomic Tommy M on guitars. So, uh, UFO, mean, misdemeanor right here. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, not, not the most popular UFO back in the 80s, but, uh, you know, they were still progressing along, still making albums, and, uh, you know, still out there. And then, of course, uh, we got UFO Live in Japan. And I believe this was from... Uh, I'm not going to find a date on this. I think this is from about 1985-86. And uh, this is actually... Uh, some older stuff. It has Boogie with George, of course. Some old, uh, old UFO. It has a, and they do a great cover of Loving Cup with uh, old Butter, uh, Paul Butterfield blues band song. Uh, Come on, everybody, from Eddie Cochran, and Who Do You Love? Anyway, here is uh, UFO live in Japan. Up next, now we're getting into more of the uh, uh, 2000s, 90s material. This is actually, 90s, they really did put out a lot, hardly anything at all. So we're into the 2000s. 2009, we're talking about The Visitor, Gate Gold, single album. Of course, that has Andy Parker, Paul Raymond, Vinny Moore on guitar, Phil Mogg on vocals. And uh, great cover, uh, great album. You know, they, they, they kind of reformed. Well, actually, they did. Uh, I have some stuff that I'll show you a, bit, a little bit later on CD that I have. And then I have uh, another one on vinyl, two more actually, and of course I have uh, Seven Deadly, Gatefold, double album, and this of course is from 2012, and it has, uh, but I know I have another one, I just can't find it, that's oh, coming up here, anyway, any more, Andy Parker, Phil Mall, Paul Raymond, and uh, anyway, UFO 7 Deadly, it's colored edition, limited vinyl, good stuff. And then their latest, which is a fantastic album, Conspiracy of Stars. Come out in 2015, Gatefold Edition, uh, has a Killing Kind, a bad Ballad of the Left Hand Gun, Sugar Cane, great, great song. Uh, just a great, great album from these guys. Um, in 2015, probably one of their best albums in a long time, again, Gatefold. And then, uh, last, on the vinyl, this is actually a combination vinyl CD. I'm talking about uh, UFO Live Sightings. Of course, it has uh, four CDs. 
Uh, all live material, Chicago 1980, Chicago 81, St. Louis 1982, Cleveland 1982, and it has an LP from 1972. And um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Get it out here for you. Of course, this comes with a liner notes book. And it has a uh, bunch of other stuff in here another uh called the ufo collection of course what i'm missing in the vinyl i'm missing forcet no heavy petting lights out that's the early stuff i'm missing and then it has a, a collection of a, a lot of different stuff here pictures of the band and then it has a, it has Her 1972 live album called Early Flight. Of course, it has Phil Mogg, Andy Parker, P. Way, Larry Wallace on guitars. Of course, SID has Galactic Love, Silverbird. Come on, everybody, Boogie for George. Back in the USA, Me Woman Blues, Stop Breaking Down Blues, and Johnny Be Good. And fantastic stuff here. And of course, uh, this is the collection on the CDs. Great, great pickup. Can be a little pricey, but uh, if you're a huge UFO fan, I would definitely set your sights on picking this up. I'm not, uh, I'm not quite sure. I think it's a limited edition, and uh, but uh, check it out, pick it up. Uh, it's put out by Cleopatra Records. And anyway, here is the UFO box set with live sightings. Now we come into the CDs, of course. Start out with Phenomenon again. This is put out by Rock Classics, uh, EMI Records Limited. That's on uh, uh, from 2000, and good stuff here. Of course, this is what I don't have on vinyl. I will have. Talking about Forset, probably one of my favorite UFOs. Has Let It Roll, Shoot, Shoot, Love to Lost, or yeah, Love Lost, Love Out in the Streets, Mother Mary. Uh, great stuff. And it includes, uh, this one's also on Classic Rock. Up next, another one of my favorites is UFO No Heavy Petting on Chrysalis Records. Originally released in 76. And of course it says Natural Thing, Belladonna, uh, Highway Lady, Martian Landscape. Uh, I have bonus tracks on it. Buy bonus tracks. Great stuff. And then uh, another classic. UFO Lights Out with Too Hot to Handle, Lights Out, Getting Ready, Love to Love. You know, probably the three best albums they put out in that span. Uh, this one came out in, let's see, I think it was, um, let's see, I, I had, uh, this, is, this is probably 77, 1977 for this one. And then, of course, we got Obsession. Again, an off the rock classic, Chrysalis Records Limited. These all came out in '99, but uh, these are just all remastered and uh, good stuff there. And then uh, we got, actually, I have two, two of these obsessions. Uh, one has 11 tracks, the other one has 14, which has previously unreleased material. Uh, most of it is recorded live. This one here is record has this one was made in Holland. So uh, as you can see the backs are just a bit different on these. But still nonetheless good stuff. And of course, come to the live one, Strangers in the Night. Again made in Holland. Good stuff. Now we get into no place to run. 1980. And then we get uh, The Wild, The Willing, and The Innocent. These all have bonus tracks on them, which is kind of nice. I mean, even if you don't have uh, bonus tracks on the vinyl, you get them on the CD. So, good stuff here. And then uh, some stuff that was uh, put out in compilation, live stuff. 
Of course, this one here is a Regenerator Live 1982. Uh, good stuff here. Of course, it has a Weave It Along in the Night, Let It Rain, Wild Willing, No Place to Run, Making Moves, Too Hot to Handle. Of course, this was a, a Zoo Club Records. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there for you, boy. And uh, anyway, this is Regenerator Live 1982. And then, UFO Mechanics. Which I showed on vinyl already. This one does have bonus tracks as well. Remastered edition. Uh, so, even though I have them on vinyl, I also have them on CD. Not all the, that's not all the case, you know, some vinyl, I have only have on C or some of the CDs are only CDs, UFO on CDs, and some are only on vinyl. Anyway, here's uh, up next is uh, Headstorm Live at the Hammersmith from 1983. And uh, it was in early 83 when they uh, did this. They decided to call it a day after this and, uh, you know, kind of hung it up. But uh, anyway, here's Live at the Hammersmith, Headstorm, UFO. And then, uh, of course, Making Contact, which is also a remaster edition. All bonus tracks on there as well. So, if you, I mean, if you, if you want to pick up these, I mean, the bonus tracks itself are just as good. And then, of course, another remastered edition, a UFO misdemeanor. This one has quite a few more bonus tracks. It has... Uh, six more bonus tracks on it, seven more bonus tracks on it, so uh, yeah, I mean, it's well worth it. I think I paid 10 bucks for the remasters. And then, what I don't have on vinyl, I do have it on CD, Ain't Misbehaving. That's kind of the obscure cover here. Of course, as Between a Rock and a Hard Place, another Saturday night. This came out in 1988, originally. Phil Mogg, Phil Gray, or Paul Gray, Atomic Tommy on guitars, and Jim Simpson on drums. So, yeah, ain't misty baby. Then, some more with High Stakes and Dangerous Men. And, uh, uh, you know, very obscure stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out uh, when this actually did come out. Sometimes it has the date, sometimes it doesn't. All depends, I guess. And we will soon find out here. I hate sometimes trying to get these out. But uh, anyway, it doesn't have a date on here. But uh, anyway. I'm assuming it, it's late 80s, high stakes, and dangerous men of UFO. And then, of course, we have the Essential UFO, which is pretty much all the hits. And, of course, this is put out in 1992 by Chrysalis Records, 16-track collection. Just about every hit you can almost imagine or know from UFO. Still got a few more left here. And then, of course, another live one, Lights Out in Tokyo Live. 1992 at Club Sita in Tokyo, Japan, and was on June 20th, 1993 on Razor Records. Of course it has uh, <clears throat> just what, what you expect them to have from the 70s and you know, some from the 80s on here, you know, all their hard and heavy stuff. And then of course, uh, Rock and Pop Legends from the UFO. And this actually goes back into some of the earlier material. This come out in 1995, and uh, uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of these, but uh, it's definitely uh, from their early days. Of course, it has on here uh, UFO, Boogie, Melinda, Tracy People, Evil, Silver Bird, Prince Kajuku, the coming of Prince Kajuku, you know, some of the earlier stuff. 
And then, an album that really actually reintroduced, reintroduced me back to UFO, I'm talking about the reintroduction of Michael Schenker and Walk on Water. Fantastic album. I mean, it, it, Self-Made Mad, one of my favorite songs on there. Uh, Running on Empty, Doctor Doctor, of course, that's a newer version. And Lights Out have a newer version. Of course, this came out in 1998. It has Andy Parker, Michael Schenker, Phil Mogg, P. Way, and Paul Raymond. So yeah, great stuff. Then of course, Covenant. And this also does have Michael Schenker on there. And uh, this also has a bonus disc. And this one came out in 2000 on Shrapnel Records. So yeah, they weren't as active in the 90s or the 2000s, but uh, they're still around. Still a good album. And another live album is Live in Texas, Parker's Birthday, 1979. And uh, of course it has uh, Phil May, P. Wade all, Michael Schenker, uh, pretty much a classic lineup on this, a lot of the hits. So good stuff here, Parker's Birthday. And then, Sharks. Michael Schenker still in the band. And also has Ansley Dunbar on drums this time on this one, on Sharks. Has Howl Out Man, Quicksilver Rider, Shadow Dancer, Crossing Over, Hawaii. Uh, so yeah, Shaker was active with UFO in the thousands, early 2000s. So yeah, here is Sharks. And then here we're going to have uh, the 10 best essentials. The 10 best of UFO, of course, it has lights out, only you can rock me, too hot to handle, love to love, doctor doctor, rock bottom, letting go, cherry, out in the streets, mystery train. This came out in 2002 on EMI Music. I love UFO, I'll get everything in any UFO. And then we have UFO You Are Here, which came out in 2004. Of course, uh, has Phil Mogg, P. Way, Paul Raymond, Jason Bottom on drums on this one, and Vinnie Moore on guitars. And, uh, you know, while not probably the most popular UFO at the time, you know, they were still out there, still touring, still writing music, still giving their fans who supported them since the late 60s until today, still doing music the way UFO does it. Good stuff. You are here. And then we have the Monkey Puzzle from 2006. Of course, Phil Mom, Vinnie Moore, P. Way, Paul Raymond, and then Andy Parker back on drums. And uh, 11 tracks. Uh, again, doing it the Yoko way, you know. Bluesy, this is, I think in this phase of the Yoko, they kind of went more into a more of a bluesy or rock song rather than a hard and heavier song. But uh, still a good album. And then up next, the best of UFO, 74 to 83. And this came out in 2008. And of course it has, you know, again, all the hits. Some other stuff on there. Uh, but uh, still, UFO, the best of. And then we have... UFO Impact Live, and these are, uh, this is a three CD set, it has live in Wolverhampton in 1998, uh, from Ken 2, CD 2 is the same, Wolverhampton, and then CD 3 is live at the record plant in New York City, Phil Mogg, Michael Schenker, Danny Peron, Peronol on keyboards, Pete Way on bass, and Andy Barker on drums, so, uh, anyway. Good stuff, Impact Live. And then uh, another compilation. It has UFO One of Those Nights, a collection again, two CDs. And uh, disc two is live in Texas in 1979. And disc one is from uh, High Stakes and Dangerous Man. So the collections. UFO One of Those Nights. And then we have The Visitor, of course, 
2009. I just showed it on vinyl here a little bit ago. Uh, four piece, Bob, Vinnie Moore, Andy Parker, and Paul Raymond. And uh, the visitor. And the last one on my list is UFO, the, Chrys the Chrysalis Year 73 to 79. Of course, this is a five disc set. And uh, it has uh, disc one is Phenomenon. Most bonus tracks on there. And it has a Bob Harris session from 74. Disc two is from uh, the Electric Ballroom in Atlantic, Georgia. On November 5th to 74. Unreleased before this on here. Disc three is from Forset. Side two has four tracks. And then it has no heavy petting, which has seven tracks. And then lights out, which has four tracks. So disc three is a combination of three albums. Disc four also is a combination of four. It has lights out, side two, lights out bonus track. The John Peel session, June 27, 1977. And it has uh, the Obsession album on here, and it has a bonus track. Disc five has the live Strangers in the Night and Strangers in the Night bonus track. So yeah, this came out in 2011. And, uh, you know, great set. Five trap, five CDs. So anyway, so that is my collection set from uh, UFO. And of course, uh, tune in every Wednesday for Metal Uprising on Sonic Asylum Radio. And then Saturdays, I do a 70s flashback show where I do showcase some of the UFO that I've showed you here. And uh, as I always say, keep it loud, keep it heavy, keep it metal, and I'll see you next time on Metal War Gods Video Mail Update, the collection series number four coming soon on video to you. Take care, everybody, and be safe.